Welcome back, everybody, to episode four of Let's Play with Silat, the science officer. Today we're just going to adjust our builds a little bit. Um, for this half hour, we're going to do the Romulan TFO that you get in the quest line. It's the next one. Uh, so we'll do that quickly near the end. I have with me today a uh, leader of Expeditionary Task Force, my good friend, Ark, and the one that will be helping me on the YouTube. Uh, I'll let him introduce let him talk now. You can talk now. You talk now. <laughs> Greetings, uh, viewers. Um, as Fearless has said, uh, my name is Ark. You will um, hear my voice a little bit more frequently in the future as we move on to making the tutorial videos for our Armada UFO. Join today! Um, I will mostly be covering anything and everything involving fleet holdings um what most importantly what you as a member can get out of them we will go over every little detail with a fine tooth comb and i will regale you with hours and hours of the complete injustice of the fact that the colony world's decorations are still not available. If you are working for Cryptic and you see this, please turn it back on. I've been waiting for a year, damn it. And um, can I throw it? And um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and you know, as we are speaking about um, one year anniversaries, in just a few short days, April 20th, Expeditionary Task Force will be celebrating its one year anniversary. Where has the time gone? In order to um, properly celebrate this, we have many wonderful events planned, large and small, and all accompanied by wonderful giveaway prizes from everything from your very favorite Tribble <coughs> to maybe a special ship of one's choice. But I can't... Uh, reveal too much information we'll just have to see yeah. how that goes there there will be more to come soon though so stay tuned anyways uh let's just get right into this uh, so i've i've sent over a bunch of stuff i'm just gonna set up my my gear real quick um and then we'll go from there So for, for people that um, are just getting into this game, uh, you're, you're likely not to have lifetime. Um, and what lifetime means is it's just the... Uh, the, the subs you get a lifetime, you get uh, Zen each month, you get a bunch of extras. So account bank right here is, is, is kind of a lifetime thing. If you want to get gear to yourself and you don't have that, you can still do it just got to come over to mail and this is in the fleet starbase in 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 esd there's there's several kiosks there's some beside uh quinn there's some over by the auction house or the exchange rather uh, but you would have to actually come to a kiosk and then when you go to compose you actually you see the the area where you can drop items you cannot transfer money however you cannot transfer ec um, the only way to do that is through account bank. Um, the the last week's one I didn't really go through. Uh, I kind of talked on it briefly, but I went and got a uh, diffusive tetrion. So this is the the set that I got: a few cannons up front and a few turrets in the back. So I have to change my my skills from beams over to that. So I'll do that in a minute. Right now, I'm just going to equip my ground gear uh, that I sent over. Everything's good. I'm just going to go to the character thing now. Ark can talk while I tweak my character. <laughs> oh, you know, this is a very fun starbase because, as you can see, it has the triples available and... What we're going to do now is we're going to play a round of soccer, or 
football. And as you can see, this is Orion football. There are many balls. I still have to try and get into it a little bit, you know. Purpose is to try and score into one of the many side ways. So let's see. We roll ahead. We roll ahead. We go. We go. We go. And we score. Yes, that's how we do it. Uh, but like I said, this is Ryan Tucker. So there are plenty of balls to go around. Balls for everyone. So here we go again. And we run and we run and we run and we score again. It's really fun to pass the time while you have uh, a free moment on the star base, basically. So um, if you're done, oh, you know. this is fun. Yeah, no, I'm just um, I'm almost there. So uh, for everybody, I'm just gonna switch it back to me. Everybody, <laughs> after that fun little. So a lot of people ask me. Uh, you know, in passing or whatever, uh, how do you, how do you get the Mako set or how do you get the, um, you know, the rep set to go, you know, you finally get it and, and you go to the character creator and you're like, well, what the heck, it's not here. It is in fact here. It's just, you have to switch from uniform over to the respective set. Now, because this is a new tune, I only have two, um, and they're not here. Uh, the only one is so when you click them, it just goes to the Gemitar set. It's, it's bugged right now, in a sense. But when I, um, if I were to just back out of here and not do anything with her, and then go into and actually claim my Lorca jacket that was an event item. You remember that arc? Mm, yeah. yeah. That was fun, wasn't it? Running around on Pavo, lost. So Terran Gorilla Elmer. So now that I have that, um, I can actually equip it. But uh, it's it's got decent stats, so I'm gonna actually do that. And then now that I have it, I'm gonna go back into Taylor, and this will just give you an example of of what because this thing comes up the same the same way, um, if I recall. There it is, Duelist Armor. Uh, and then I have to... No, the Duelist is the gem. What am I... That's not right. <laughs> it's not in there, is it, Art? <laughs> it's probably in Jackets no, no. Tight. Either way, if uh, you get the rep stuff, that's where it would be. Uh, is it in Off-Duty? Might have to make an Off-Duty. Yeah, so you, you get a few spots to create new uniforms. At first, you just hit create. And let's see if I got it now. Oh, look at that. I got off-duty. I've got... So these are the rest of the ones that you get as well. Um, Iconian resistance in the vast, I believe, were something different. But um, So off-duty. I think it's an off-duty. I don't know. I put it on my main. You guys have seen it in the videos. I don't know why I can't remember where this thing is. <laughs> so let's go with tight. It's not in there. Let's go with long, because it was pretty long. There it is there, DCS civilian. So, there's that one. I think she looks pretty badass. We're going to keep that one. Right, Eric? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Good idea. And then we'll want to get some boots to match. Ooh, let's go with the high heels. Because why not? And, uh, <laughs> I feel like a, a sim player right now. But anyways, let's go back to... So I don't have my... Oh, it's because it's off duty. Yes, that's right. That works. A little bit of a new look. Purchase. You know, because she's a bit of a rebel. She doesn't need no uniform. So, another question I usually get is, well, how do you just switch your uniform when you're standing at her space dock like that? Well, if you notice, I just created a new um, outfit, and I'm still wearing the old one. So, I did that on purpose so that I could show you this. So, you just right-click your your character portrait and change outfit. 
and any one of the outfits you have it will come up and you can actually name them too so that you don't get confused but click it and it changes so we're good that way I got all my gear set I think where it's time to go do a TFO what do you think Eric? you're just hanging out at the dance floor there well, I think my character has just been dumped. She was dancing with a very strapping young officer, and he just left her. Oh. That just... Oh. Well, I'm here now. How come the DJ fell asleep? Do I have to get a new DJ for the mythical Starbase? Maybe you just need more battery. Oh, yeah, she does look kind of, you know. I'm just going to dance without music, okay? <sighs> Alright, so, uh, for those that you, that don't know, uh, the, so last time we, we ended up, uh, the last mission we did was Doomsday Device. Um, and then we called it a night. So, the next one on the list is Task Force Operation Romulan Imperial Mindfish. It, it is the first chance you get to do a TFO. It's an, it's an easy one. It's been in the game forever. It's been redone a few times, but uh, we're actually going to go ahead and do that. So, in order to do that, you click on your cues over here. And for some reason, I can't do the Imperial Minefield. Oh, you got to skip ahead, Ark. Um... Yep. yep. Done. Okay. And I still can't do the Imperial because failed expression. I guess you failed to express yourself, Ark. It's not letting me. What? Let's uh, leave team. And I'll re invite you. There we go. Apparently, you have to do that to refresh it. So, uh, we just queued. So, when the queue is... No, we didn't queue. <laughs> there we go. Now we've queued. Uh, so, usually it takes a few seconds. Uh, especially with this one, it's an older one. So, not many people queue for it regularly. Uh, it doesn't pop in the randoms. So, uh, there's that as well. Oh, look at that. That was nice and quick. You got that right, Eric? Yep. Yeah, so... Usually, it, it gives a minute. Yeah, it gives a whole minute um, for people to choose whether or not they want to go in. And, and some people... T you know, take the whole minute before they, they click, if they click at all. It's kind of like every game with the random queue system. Well, it gave us a second to clean up the dribble. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, they do tend to run wild, so it's nice when you, you're able to clean them up. So, the, the... This one's really easy. Um, the The one key is they, they kind of give you the first um, skill that you have to defend against. Uh, in this case, it's a tractor beam. So that first little bit, it's a nice little read. It tells you how to to fight against it. Uh, it gives you a little introduction into skills and how they work. Uh, so be sure to read it over. I just realized I don't have any traits or anything on. Um, so we'll have to do that after this. That certainly is a fun move. bit annoying though because I'm not going to catch up to that. <laughs> it's fun to use though.
Yeah. They tell you how to defend against it, but when you only have a select amount of skill slots, it's, it's hard to do. So your best bet is to just kill the source of, of the tractor beam. <laughs> right, Eric? Indeed. Just a few more to go, but nobody's rescuing the freighters. Oh, there we go. So what are you flying? Uh, I'm flying the Georgia. Yeah. The leveling First time. one. It's a nice retrofit too, I like the look of it. I really do like the Tapao though. The whole raider flanking at level 10 is kind of uh, a nice little touch. <laughs> freighter here. I'm just killing him. Cloaking mines. Another one bites the dust. For everybody watching, this is how you look at your stats. Uh, I was just kind of curious what I was doing. I've never leveled with this ship before, but that's kind of nice. I got like 10% resistance, uh, quite a bit of shield, quite a bit of health for this level. Um, I could use a few more skills, but as you can see, I'm kind of a little bit squishy when I'm, when I'm getting hit by three. I don't really have the healing abilities of that I need, but I do have the quickness if I wasn't trapped. <laughs> yeah, but uh, 54 crit severity and 3% chance isn't bad too at this level. But that was fun. I'm glad I'm not the only one that's, uh, that's getting pummeled. I think we've all spread out at this point, so we're just taking them all by ourselves. 
Um, and it's, it's, we just finished the first part, so it's time to go anyways. You ready, Eric? Let's take these bosses oh. down. Wait. Didn't you say, oh yeah? Oh. Where'd you go? <laughs> Whoops. But look no. at the detail on the Romulan ships. Isn't that nice? Oh. That's, um... It's pretty detailed. Like, that their weapons are more detailed than anything. They they explode very prettily too. Is that a word? Prettily. It is now. I just made it one. It'll be trending everywhere. And uh, I'm I'm about to get s swamped um, with with a lot of hits. That's a <laughs> lot of shit. <laughs> Yeah. It's okay, we got this. It's nothing. All four of them blew up at once, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Just gotta repair the last one. And on to the last one. So this is the big boss. The scimitar. She's not that bad. Uh, she'll do the usual radiation shot eventually, I think. Um, but at this level, it doesn't have too many skills. And like all scimitars, she'll have some pets. So. The bright side is scimitars are usually slow and they turn real slow. So it's easy to flank them. Even when you're their desired target. Because all they do is infinitely turn at you. <laughs> and they can't really catch up. And this was the move that I was talking about. So this is the Thaleron radiation. It comes right from the show. Uh, it takes some time to charge. As you can see here. I've only got 67% health. So if that were to have hit me. It would have hit me for quite a bit. Um, it probably would have killed me initially. But it also comes with a radiation dot. Which um, 
isn't all that good. When you have the three two five consoles, you're able to do the move yourself. And I can tell you from experience, it's not worth the, the charge time to do it. <laughs> uh, you ever played with that one, Ark? Like, like I, I don't mind. The oh, well. oh well. In fact, my uh, first Romulan tune is flying a scimitar, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, no, and they're, um, they're definitely really, like, out of all of the Romulan ships, that one, I think, is my, my most fun. Even though there's some good other ones that aren't really iconic, I guess, in a sense, but, uh, when they made the ship in the game, it, it turned out to be a, a really good ship. Uh, even just the command, um, Romulan ships feel like different ships than the Command Federation do. Romulan's definitely a really fun um, class to play. Uh, the reason why I kind of wanted to go with Federation this time was just because of the the ship, though. And I wasn't 100% sure whether or not a Romulan can get that one. I think they can, though, as long as they're allied to Fed, which means you wouldn't get it right away, but... Am I right on that, Mark? Have you tried to put it on a, a Romulan? No, no, not that I can recall. Hmm. I'll have to try that one day. Either way, uh, that's this TFO. It's nice and easy. Uh, it's good for farming a um, little bit of items and, and giving you a break between the quests as you level up. As you gain more quests, you'll have more of those. And once you've gotten the quest active... Uh, you can do that TFO, so. Um, being that they allowed you to start each one. Ooh, look at this, we got a new bridge officer candidate. And I had that universal, so I'm going to go with the science. Although, I would like to go through and check my options and try to find one with a good space trait to go in that science slot. Something I um, I will go over with you right now before we end this, because I have to start... I never did go in and set my traits, uh, so I have three slots in each that I don't have open. Uh, tonight we will start on the Romulan quest line. We'll start with the galaxy at large and then heading out. Um, heading out, you go over to Starbase 31 and you start that whole quest log. Okay, back to traits. So ground traits, um, you can imagine each one does uh, specific things uh, like rifle damage, pistol damage, you get resilience, um, physical damage, resilience, stubborn and then you get certain ones. So I have gone, and when I bought the Tetrion set the other day, I ha went and got some trait boxes as well. So I have Terran Vision for the ground that I want to put on. And that one gives you crit severity uh, and reducing income and critical hits. Uh, and then I want to go up, because this is the only one I bought for ground and put the usual. So, I am... At the beginning you kinda wanna have some resilience and some uh, some help that way. So I'm gonna go Medical Vanguard because I do have um, kits that heal and then I'm going to go Peak Health for the resilience boost um, and the HP. Then, so now we need to set some space ones. And I went over and I bought a few of those too. So I don't even think I bought these. These were sitting in my bag. I just sent them over. So automated rerouting. It's a shield heal for any time you do bridge officer ability. It is a very decent uh, skill to have. You're constantly doing bridge officer abilities anyways. So it's going to help you out a lot. I got coalition, but I'm not going to put that on yet. Coalition starship traits gives you... 
uh, various buffs depending on your, your class. So for a science class, it's going to give me 3% hull healing uh, during combat or during um, a mission, I guess. It's um, not the one I want to put on right now because I only have three spots. I'm going to go with Warp Theorist. It gives me extra power, which means more shields, more everything, more power to weapons. Things die quicker. I have cannons, so I'm going to go with that over my one torpedo. Cannon weapon damage. The next one I'm going to put on once I get will be based again on, on resilience and stuff. Uh, I just want to show you before I go, I got volatile plating, which is uh, radiation damage when attacked. It gives radiation to the attacker. It's a decent one to have. Terran targeting systems, awesome. It gives you plus crit. Uh, when being critically hit. Uh, so, the that's that. So we just got the three and the three. Eventually we'll unlock starship traits. Talked about that in the first one. Um, the bridge officer that I just got, I can't equip until I level to ten, so that won't be till tonight. But the other thing I wanted to show you was the away team. So the away team is just going to be randomly selected until you select which ones you want. So I just wanted to put them on so that I had them set. Now when I get my next one, it's not going to put a low level one on. Uh, in order to get more skills, uh, I didn't really clarify that on the last one. The reason why I only have uh, torpedo spread, or sorry, high yield, and then shield, and tachyon beam is right now they're all only level one so till I promote these officers they won't unlock the next level skills even though this ship can take these skills um, it's the same on the ground so right now I'm only gonna have the first slot in each one on the ground uh, to promote them you just simply go to them in the skills tree and then hit promote again that takes expertise it takes a little bit to, to earn that Sometime in the future, I'm going to go over all of the skills and buy the skills for her. I still need to go get cannon stuff and all that kind of stuff, but I don't really need it now until I can promote those officers and use those, utilize those spots. I don't want to get too much more into it. This is about the end of the, the playthrough. So, Ark and I will sign off, and we will see you tonight uh, with some more people. This time... We'll crack out a few quests and uh, so this is Fearless signing off and I'll catch you tonight. Good night.